All right, baby, black hole barbecue, baby. Check this out. We got some pretty good sized tri tips, dude. We got, and uh, we got size. Yeah, so, anyways, we're gonna do these like they should be over fire, not smoked. So, uh, we got that one going. Here's the second one. Look at that size. Mmm. Oh yeah, baby. All right, so uh, these hit, and right now we're just going to lower these down a little bit, sear them up, let that fire going. Yeah. Oh man, it's good, baby. It's good. Having family over, we got an Easter day with the kids. Bunch of chocolates, bunny eggs, and meat. Oh, and they got it. You know me, what's up? All right, so we're gonna let this uh, sear up a little bit. You can see it. Starting to, starting to go. Yeah. Alright, so here's a surprise I got. Uh, here I got a fire pit, and I've been working on a uh, cooker, Argentine style barbecue. With the, uh, this is called an as, asado, as, asador uh, cross or Panagonian cross. Uh, derived from uh, Latin America, if I want to get it right, um, Argentina. Uruguay, Paraguay, and uh, Chile, in that area, they cook like this. And these are uh, three beef ribs going. And look at that. Can you see that? You can see one of them. Uh, drippings. See that? I think there's a drip right there. Look at that. Oh, man. This is looking good, baby. You got some good heat. Let's just shower these up a little bit, give them a little moisture, you know, black hole style. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's get that, if I can get it right on the inside. There you go. There you go. All right, here we go. Like I was saying, um, these are uh, beef ribs. If you look, uh, got a little drop it right there. Yeah, baby. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff. My first attempt at this. But you can see how it looks. Yeah, yeah. So um, I ended up, what I use a uh, is a strut or unit struts that they use to uh, brace uh, electrical pipes or water pipes or whatever. Uh, these are uh, one five eighths uh, height and width all around. Um, I got the T brackets. So it's mainly you got to go find a uh, electrical shop. Uh, I've checked at Home Depot. Quality is not as good. Pay the extra money and um, you can get uh, at any uh, electrical shop. And um, that's about it, dude. Uh, if you can see it, I, it's all struts and uh, T brackets. Uh, I got a uh, six foot pipe. And then I used a, uh, I want to say one, one inch, three sixteenths thick flat iron for the crossbar. 
and uh, U-bolts to hold these down and I can loosen these and adjust these up and down as I like. I drilled in holes uh, so I can uh, position the meat where I want it more or less and uh, that's it man. It's just pretty easy. I think I spent maybe 70, 80 bucks total. Um, pretty cheap, pretty awesome. Next, uh, if I start mastering this a couple times, I'm gonna get ready to start doing uh, pig, goat, lamb, whole. So uh, it's pretty good, man. Life's good, baby. Very good. Hi, right, baby. Here we are. Here we are. Update these tri tips are just about done. I like that little bark, like that. And uh, you can sit here and uh, beat on it, break it up, but just like that consistency right there. Yeah, oh man, look at that. See that juice coming out? You see that? Look at that, baby. That is juice right there. Yeah. Love tri tip, baby. Love tri tip. All right. Enough of that. Let's uh, get a tecate pour. Probably one last one. Yeah, baby. All right. Now we're going to go over here to uh, this right here. Mm. Look at them ribs. Look at them ribs. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I also added uh, some hot links, if you can see. Look at that. <laughs> they are dripping crazy. Look at that. See all that drippings? Yeah. We're going good, man. We are going good. Really, really good. I'm using a uh, hickory. Hickory logs. I'm having a little bit of trouble because uh, these are just like really fresh logs, so they're still kind of wet. Uh, I'm gonna have to probably uh, grab a bag and uh, put it aside and uh, dry it out. Now that summer's coming along, it won't take too long for that. But yeah, this is it, dude. This is it. Black Hole Barbecue uh, stepped up the game, and uh, we're doing this. Argentine Patagonian barbecue on a asador um, cross or Patagonia cross Patagonian. Look at that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. Looking good, baby. Life's good. To all you guys out there, salute. Back home barbecue, baby. all right baby here we are here we are all right uh hot links are uh just about done uh we're gonna take these off and i'm gonna put this uh meat back on that bottom rib rack might be done looks pretty good and uh we got a good cook baby check this out yeah yeah oh yeah back home barbecue man back home barbecue which had better lighting. But it looks good, man. Looks really good. Okay, great. Okay.